Hello and welcome to my 18th video of my Nymph for Beginners tutorial series Enumerators and 2D Arrays. Enumeration types define a new type whose values consist of the ones specified. The values are ordered. Enumerations, integer types, char, bool, and subranges are called ordinal types. Enumerators are made within type sections similarly to tuples. You give the enumerator type a name and then assign it to the value of enum keyword for making enumerators. Then instead of making fields of types you want, Instead, start typing enumerations one by one separated by a comma, by naming variables. But these enumerations will be from value 0 to the last enumeration created. So if you have four enumerators, they will go from 0 to 3. Now I will show you the simplest enumerator type in them. Type, type, then direction, which will be the name of our enumerator. We started with the uppercase for easier naming of variables of this type later assign it enum keyword and then we start typing enumerations let's start with east north west and south the values of these will be 0 1 2 and 3 you can now display these enumerations one by one if you want echo east will display east you display any other like south we also display south you can also display them by calling direction type dot east which will also display east now let's make a new variable that will be of type direction enumerator so bar direction lowercase as direction uppercase of type direction this is why we named it with uppercase so you can use it for same name variable but with lowercase now if we echo this, it will echo east because it starts with first enumeration, east. Now you can also initialize enumerators for variables like this, or direction assign direction that north. You can do this, which gives north, or you can just give it north enumeration and north. Since enumerators are of ordinal type, you can call the following special procedure on them, like successor, which will give you west. North successor is west, as in the next element. So west. Now if you were to type east, and then successor will give us north. Now you can also call predecessor as pred, which will give us an error if you go out of bounds. So you must do some checking yourself for this. So let's type north instead so it won't error. And we get east. You can also call order the as in ordinal procedure on it, which will give us return the actual value it holds, integer value. These hold 0, 1, 2, and 3. So north will be 1. So one and east will be zero. This isn't exactly useful because enumerators are used to map values to names like variables for better constants because enumerator values cannot change like constant. So let's make an array using enumerators for its size, which will make accessing our array's elements much easier. Okay, let's comment this out and make a new array. Var, let's call it direction again as array its size will be direction enumerator type followed by let's say string for its array type now if we echo this it will give us four empty strings in an array now we can access elements of our array using our enumeration values like this direction name of our array and then we type one of these enumeration values inside so east for accessing the first element which would be otherwise zero index and give it a new string like first one and let's do the same for the last one south and string fourth and now let's echo this again echo direction here we go we change the first one and the last one so far we have only created one dimensional arrays 
which you can also make 2D, short for two-dimensional arrays, by nesting, by either initializing arrays by giving other arrays as elements to our array, or declaring it of type array. This makes a 2D array. So let's declare an empty array of arrays. Okay, var, let's call it nested array, as in array within array, as array keyword in square brackets, size two, another array for its type, in square brackets, its size of two, and type integer. This makes an array within array, both of size two. So this will be two times two. Okay, let's display it to see what it actually holds. So echo nested array, let's run this, here we go. Two arrays inside one array, which means this first array is of size two, as in two arrays. So this first one are these first square brackets here, and these, these two arrays in here of integers is this array, and there's two of them. You can access this array's elements by using double square brackets. So nested array, first square bracket, index zero, second square bracket, index zero, and let's give it a new value, let's say 10. This will give this first array's first element zero value to 10. Let's also echo it, see changes. Here we go, we modified the first one. Now, if we want to change the second one in the first array, we will call one on the second square bracket. Now we change the second one. Now to change the second one, you change the first square brackets index to one, which means the second array. So this is the second array, and this is the second element of the second array. So this one, so this will change this one. Both of these square brackets are also called dimensions. So an array with one square bracket like this is one dimensional. If it has two like this, it's two dimensional. If it would have three, it would be three dimensional and so on. You can think of two dimensional arrays as a list of rows and columns. So the first dimension in arrays is the rows. So these lines here. And the second dimension are these spaces, like the position to the right. You can also use enumerators with 2D arrays. So let's make another enumerator called tower and give it two enumeration values, unoccupied and occupied. So tower with uppercase assign enum and give it two enumerations. First one will be unoccupied and the second will be occupied. Now let's make a new variable, comment this out. So new variable, let's call it level as array of size direction, like before. So we don't need to use integer indexes, but east, north, west, and south. And then an array of also direction, for easier mapping, again, of type tower, the second enumerator. Now let's display it, echo level. And here we go. This is an array of four arrays, each of size four of type tower. So this is the second one, this is the third one, and this is the fourth array. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked it. If you had any problems with any part of the video, let me know in the comment section. The code for this video is in the link in the description. Have fun.